Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. In this video or the lecture, we'll see that how you make use of Elastic Beanstalk to enhance developers' productivity. Because as a developer, you don't have to look into the infrastructure components like your auto scaling, load balances, instances, etc., or even the S3 buckets. You simply choose a platform, you upload your application, execute it, and you can deploy your applications without any complex task or it will bring down the time, effort, and skills needed to deploy an application. So we'll get started. We'll see that what's the purpose of using the Elastic Beanstalk as a service, how it works, and then we'll have a small demo session where we'll be using the service to deploy a simple application. So let's get started and let's understand the concepts first, and then we will just do the hands-on. In this video or the lecture, we'll see the purpose of using the AWS Elastic Beanstalk. The very first thing we'll see that what are the challenges or issues being faced by developers if they have to deploy their applications upon AWS Cloud Platform. Let's suppose that you have to deploy a three-tier architecture. This means that there are multiple components that need to be created and configured when you have to deploy a three-tier application or the architecture. And you might need to deploy multiple applications. Each application will consist of several environments like test, dev, and prod. And you can maintain multiple application versions of each application at the same time. This means that there are a lot of complexities involved in the management and the deployment of an infrastructure. You might have some, some scaling concerns. You will be using auto scaling in most of the applications so that you can use auto scaling to automatically scale out or scale in, I would say, increase or decrease the number of instances based upon the patterns of the incoming traffic time of day and the demand. You want to achieve consistency across different applications and environments. Overall, as a developer, you want your code to run. So you'll be using Beanstalk to solve these challenges or issues. What is Elastic Beanstalk? It's a developer-centric view of deploying an application on AWS. You can quickly deploy and manage applications. You don't have to look into the infrastructure. You don't have to learn about infrastructure components like EC2, load balancer, auto scaling groups, elastic IPs, and so on that runs those applications. So you just manage your applications and you don't have to look into the details or the complexities of the infrastructure. It reduces management complexity without restricting choice or control. You simply upload your application and Elastic Beanstalk will take care of everything, starting from capacity provisioning, load balancing, scaling, and application health monitoring. Let's see some of the basic components of the Elastic Beanstalk. We have three main components, application, application version, and an environment. Let's start with the application. An application is nothing but it's a logical collection or it's a combination of multiple Elastic Beanstalk components, including environments, versions, and environment configurations. Then we have application version. It is nothing but it is a application source bundle or it's a deployable code. For example, a Java WAR file. So you make use of the application versions or a package, a source bundle, or a piece of code, and that's the application version that you use to deploy your applications. An application version is a part of an application. Applications can have many versions and each application version is unique. The third component is environment. An environment is nothing but it's a logical collection of AWS resources that you use to run an application version. Each environment runs only one application version at a time. You can run the same application version or different application versions in many environments simultaneously. When you create an environment, Elastic Beanstalk provisions the resources needed to run the application version you specified. So these are the three main components of your Elastic Beanstalk. Let's see the workflow. How Elastic Beanstalk works for you. Let's imagine you want to create an application. You want to deploy an application. So you upload an application version. It's a source bundle or it's a deployable code. So you upload the application version and it will launch an environment. So an environment is nothing but it's a collection of AWS resources that you need to run an application version and you can manage your environment. So this means that whenever you create an application and when you deploy an environment, 
you have deployed a new application version. After that, you can also update that application version by using or changing the source code. So this is the workflow of the Elastic Beanstalk. Last but not the least, let's see that how you're being charged for using this service. There's no additional charge for using Elastic Beanstalk. You don't have to pay even a single penny for it. However, you pay for the underlying AWS resources that you use or that your application consumes. For example, you might deploy Eastern instances, load balancers, or any other resource. So you have to, to pay for those resources. However, you don't have to pay for Elastic Beanstalk as a service. So that's how you're being charged for using the services, or I would say the resources, but for Elastic Beanstalk, there's no charge. You pay for the underlying resources like instances, load balancers, etc. So that's the overview of the Elastic Beanstalk. We'll just jump to our AWS Mammoth console and we'll deploy a simple application using the Elastic Beanstalk. First of all, we just go to the compute section and click on Elastic Beanstalk. I click on create new application on the right hand side. And now I have to assign a name to this application. I can just name it my app demo and I can just include a description however I can skip it you can add a tag but this is optional so once you set a name click on create and this creates an application now for that application you have to create an environment so let's click on create one now and I choose the web server environment so if you want to run a website a web application or web API that serves HTTP request, in that case, you make use of the web server environment. So I go with the web server environment because I want to deploy a web application or websites in the front end. I click on select right now. And now you have to define some specifications for this environment. First of all, I include the name. So I just keep the name as it is. If you want, you can change it. I can copy this name and include that as my domain name. So if I just click on check availability, this means that I can use this domain to access the website that will be created using this environment. We can assign a description. However, we can just leave it as it is. It is not important or essential. The next thing we have to choose is the base configuration. Under base configuration, you have to choose the platform published and maintained by Beanstalk. Now these are the pre-configured platforms you can make use of. For example, we have Docker, multi-container Docker. We have Go, .NET, Java, Node.js, Ruby, PHP, Python, Tomcat, Glassfish. So you can make use of any one of these pre-configured platforms. In our example, we go with Python. Then we have to choose the application code that will be used to deploy this environment. Now I'll use sample application because I'm not using any of the pre-configured template or code. So I choose the sample application. I click on create environment and now it will start deploying the things by itself, including the instance, its IP address, its security group, S3 bucket, everything will be deployed from scratch from beginning to the end. The best part is that you can manage these resources afterwards. So as of now, we have to wait for a few minutes because it will take some time for it to deploy all the resources from scratch to the end. Let's wait. I'll pause this video. Once this entire deployment is done, then I'll show you that what things it has deployed. Welcome back. Now, as you can see that it deployed everything from scratch. It launched instance, its IP address, it configured every attribute of that instance and it deployed my Python platform upon which I can start deploying my applications or I start with the development. Now, if I just click on this URL, I click on this right now, you can see that it's displaying this web page. So this gives a platform for any developer to start using it and start with the deployment process of applications and services. That's all about deploying a web server environment using Elastic Beanstalk.